Learn how to load all these BIOS files in RetroArch correctly in your iOS device and play any retro games without any computer. As you can see, we have the RetroArch installed. It is really very important to launch the app once so that it can create necessary files and folders. Skipping this very important step will eventually lead to improper functioning of RetroArch. Once the app is launched, just minimize it and launch the files app. Navigate to on my iPad or iPhone section. Look for RetroArch folder. RetroArch folder is created successfully. If you can't find it, then just reboot your device and redo the steps. And if you notice, inside RetroArch folder, there is another RetroArch folder having around 17 items. Now the most important part of this video is how to download and load this BIOS files pack into RetroArch. I have downloaded this system dot zip file which has all the BIOS files, in compressed format. The size is around 1.4 GB. But if you have any question or need assistance, just reach out to me, happy to help. Next, this BIOS zip file, must be extracted. Simply tap on the zip file, to extract the file. A system folder will be extracted, as you can see. This system folder contains around 261 files, which may differ with times, as more consoles are added. Next just copy the folder, and navigate to, on my iPad section. Go into RetroArch folder. Again go into the second RetroArch folder. Here you will already find a system folder, just delete it. Just want to inform that I am very active in Telegram. And then paste the copied system folder of BIOS files here. As you can see, the system folder, containing all the BIOS files, is moved to this directory. It's time to load this BIOS files in RetroArch. Launch RetroArch app. Just click on this settings icon as demonstrated. Please follow every steps without skipping the video. If you always want to play in RetroArch, without revoke, click on the i button. Now. On the next page, scroll down, and go to the directory option. Here, already a BIOS directory will be selected. Tap on it. Keep tapping on parent directory, until you find the RetroArch folder. The aim is to locate the extracted system folder, we move into the RetroArch folder, a while ago. Now once you have located the RetroArch folder, like you see in this video. Next inside that folder, look for that system folder. As you can see, this is the system folder, containing all the BIOS files. Just tap on the folder. And finally tap on, use this directory. So we have specified the BIOS files directory. This is not over yet. Now tap on this home icon, and next, once you are on the home page, scroll down, until, you find the option, configuration file, just tap on it. Next, just tap on, save current configuration. And that's it. We have successfully loaded the BIOS files, in RetroArch, but if you want to learn, how to download RetroArch, and load games, then watch my next video.